What's going on YouTube? My name's Adam Bennett. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of eating while on a cut. On top of that, I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite movements for my upper workout later on today. First, let's take a look at the physique. Not too bad. So let's get started with meal number one. Meal number one, we're gonna have 350 grams of eggs, one packet of the weight controlled oatmeal, and then I'm also going to put a little bit of mushrooms mixed in with the eggs, and two tablespoons of salsa. This uh, salsa I've never tried before, but we will see how it goes. And uh, Powerade Zero, and of course, a cup of coffee we just brewed. That's meal number one. So the funny thing is I don't actually have a bowl here. So I'm going to use the container that the mushrooms came in as my bowl to measure me out my eggs. Get those going in the microwave. And I have to use this coffee cup for my oatmeal. But hey, no excuses, right? Add some water. I usually like about 30 milliliters of water in my oatmeal. And by 30, of course, I'm at 90. So, meal number one, here's our breakfast. We have the oatmeal, the coffee we made, about 36 ounces of water, and of course the eggs. Now for the eggs I did put in the two tablespoons of salsa and I also put in the mushrooms. Um, the reason I use that is because I like to have vegetables uh, with my eggs. The salsa is super easy to use because it's very low in calorie and its base is tomatoes, onions, and some jalapeno peppers because I got the hot salsa. It gives it a little bit of spice, mixes up the flavor of the eggs, um, and the mushrooms are just some additional carbs but also have protein as well. Uh, comment below how you guys like to cook your eggs. Maybe I'll get some new ideas, but this is how I'm eating mine for today. The 330 grams of egg whites, two tablespoons of salsa, and two servings of mushrooms. That's meal number one. Not the best fitness center, but we will make do. Honestly, this right here is pretty much all we need. And we even have this nice little machine right here as well. So let's get started. 
Here we are in the hotel gym. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our workout. It's gonna be an upper body day. And I got my uh, Lindsey Sterling t-shirt on, so it's gonna be a good workout. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like Lindsey Sterling as well. And if you don't know who she is, go ahead and give the video a thumbs down. Or if you don't like her, give the video a thumbs down. And if you don't know who she is, I suggest you go and listen to some of her music. Excellent violinist. So let's go ahead and get started with the first workout. We are gonna do incline bench press. I like to set my machine up at a 30 degree angle. Any higher than that, you're gonna get too much shoulder engagement. So I like it at a nice about 30 degree angle. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. And let's get our first set. <laughs> Another way to ensure that you're properly hitting your upper chest is when you come down, you want to make sure your elbows are slightly in a little bit. So from this angle, instead of having your elbow like that, you can have it turned in just a little bit. And you want to come down and hit about mid nipple line. That's where the weight should be focusing. So over the top and back down. If you're too high and up more towards the clavicle, chances are you have a lot of front shoulder engagement. And not only can that lead to injury, but it also isn't working the muscle we're trying to target. So make sure you have that weight in line with the nipple line to try and make sure you're getting the proper engagement of your chest. Doing this movement, you want to make sure to keep your elbows tight and only be moving your forearms up to lock out and really engage those triceps. If you're moving your elbow back and forward, you're going to lose engagement in the tricep. Or if you're constantly flaring your elbows in and out while doing the exercise, you're also going to lose quality engagement of that tricep. So make sure to keep this part of your arm still when it's locked behind your head for the extension and only push your forearms up towards the ceiling.
just finished my workout in the hotel gym. I wanted to record more, but there's people in there in the way. So um, I basically just did the upper movements. I did tricep dumbbell extensions. I did incline bench press. I did shoulder press with the dumbbells, and I did some curling as well, along with some bent over rows. So this is a physique update after going to the fitness center at the hotel. So, I know the lighting's horrible. Chest looking nice and full. Last spread. Back's not too bad, and of course, I mean, I don't skip leg day, but they just weren't done today. So, leg's not looking too bad either. So, overall physique. Turn it this way so you can see. So, not too shabby. I'm about to eat meal number two. And uh, I will uh, show you what meal number two looks like in just a second. So, meal number two, we are going to have some of this vegetable blend. As you can see, it's only 20 calories per serving. Rice to cauliflower, and I believe it has asparagus and some mushrooms. We're going to have eight ounces of this Tyson grilled ready chicken. It's the Italian herb tomato uh, edition. That one's really good. If you've never tried it, it's simple, just microwave it. It's good to go, already cut. And we're going to have eight ounces of sweet potatoes, so two small four ounce sweet potatoes. And then we are going to also have a couple pickles. That's meal number two. All right, so we have here meal number two. So I ended up actually finishing off the bag of chicken, so I know I said eight ounces, but we actually ended up with 16, I'm sorry, 14 ounces of chicken. We have our two sweet potatoes, took all the skin off, chopped it up, and then we also have that whole bag of the cauliflower rice. Now the reason I utilize this and the reason you should be utilizing vegetables, especially when you're cutting, not only do you get the macronutrients, but look how much cauliflower rice is here. This entire bowl is only 80 calories. Um, because I got a lot of food here, I decided to go ahead and cut out the pickle, but the pickle is another reason why I would be doing that is it's only one carb for an entire pickle or two carbs depending on how big the pickle is. It's one way to go ahead and get your nutrients in, but also keep your stomach feeling full because the food is so voluminous, meaning there's a lot of food there for such little calories. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this meal, and that'll be meal number two. Now, if you're wondering what I took for my workout, all I took pre-workout was the coffee this morning, and I also took three grams of creatine. Now, if you're not taking creatine, I highly suggest you take it. It does not matter what kind you take but creatine monohydrate is the cheapest and easiest to take. If you click right here, you can watch my video on creatine and I'll give you a full explanation of why you should be taking creatine and how effective it is. And also maybe break up some myths you may already have about creatine. Otherwise, you really don't need much else for your, your workout. Just some caffeine, some creatine, and maybe citrulline if you want to get a little bit better of a pump. Otherwise, those are your staple ingredients for a pre-workout. All the rest really is just, is just crap. If it doesn't have evidence-based research supporting it, there's no reason to be putting it in your body. Now number three, we're going to have seven ounces of shrimp. And I had another bag of this, so we're gonna then Heat up some more cauliflower rice, and that will be meal number three. Now for our final meal, went ahead, we're gonna go ahead and have the shrimp. And I went ahead and made that entire bag of the risotto, as you can see. I also added in here two pickles as well because they're almost zero calories and uh, three tablespoons of salsa just to give it a little bit extra flavor. So that is going to be meal three. That's going to complete my meals for today. I will list the total calories and macros I consumed for today, but this is basically what it looks like to be eating on a cut and this is what a normal meal looks like. High protein, high volume foods, um, a lot of vegetables 
but overall it gets you the results you're looking for if you're trying to lose some weight and burn off some extra fat. I hope this video was educational and I hope in some regard you can kind of see what it looks like when you are dieting and right now I'm actually on prep. I do have a competition tomorrow. So this is what a uh, full day of eating looks like while dieting. Appreciate you checking out my video. If you like the video, please like, comment, ask me any questions. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future content. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.